Meteorologist Kelly Reardon here. On the radar this week, we're examining eye itching, throat tickling, nose running pollen. Let's explore how weather can drastically affect pollen count, what thunderstorm asthma is, and how climate change could significantly impact your allergies. Are your allergies horrible and hard to miss on some days, but on other days you finally have some relief from your itchy eyes? It's the weather. Days that are really dry, sunny, and have light winds are most conducive to high pollen levels. The days that are best for your allergies are rainy, dark, and gloomy. Not what you want to hear, I know, but when raindrops fall in the atmosphere, they can attach onto pollen particles, cleaning them out of the atmosphere. At least it's a story in the spring and summer. In the fall and winter, it has the opposite effect. It can increase tree pollination and therefore increase pollen levels. Thunderstorm asthma seems a little counterintuitive. Yes, rainfall clears out the atmosphere of the larger pollen particles, but within the first stage of a thunderstorm, before there's ample time to clear out the atmosphere, raindrops can actually rupture pollen grain, releasing millions of little allergens into the atmosphere, increasing your risk for asthma attacks. Now this is only for those with the asthma response to outdoor allergies, not just someone with regular outdoor pollen allergies. And it's not too horribly common either. One study conducted in Atlanta found there was a 3% increase in emergency department visits for asthma attacks on days after storms and showers. This might not seem a lot, but since asthma is so common, this can have a big effect on the population. Warming global temperatures and increasing carbon dioxide levels make plants grow more vigorously and produce more pollen than they otherwise would. But not only does a warming world create more pollen, it increases the length of the season during which plants produce pollen. So we're looking at more pollen for a longer amount of time, and this pattern will only continue as climate change accelerates due to human activities. According to a study published in the ACAAI, pollen counts will double by the year 2040 because of climate change. Tune in next Tuesday for more On the Radar with Kelly Reardon. For daily weather updates, head to cleveland.com weather.